Hello and welcome back to Mental Transformation YouTube channel. And today we are going to take one of the most interesting topics that concern us, the youth. Uh, we, we are going to start this way. Uh, there is a, a popular song that we usually sing and dance, or our children usually sing and dance while moving from the assembly ground to their respective classroom. That song goes like this. Parents listen to your children. We are the leaders of tomorrow. We try and pay our school fees and give us some education. That is a very popular and very interesting and very encouraging lesson that we all went through it while moving into our classes. And our children today are still singing that very song in order to move into their classes. It is a very encouraging one because it gives us the hope that we, as little as we are, one day we will uh, rise up to a certain age or level where we will take over from our parents, we will take over from the leaders in our society, leaders in our country. And then the big questions that we are going to be answering today is, are we or the youths, are they still the leader of tomorrow? Are they still the leader of tomorrow? Our parents have paid our school fees. We have completed our education. Are we leading? That is one of the questions we are going to be answering this day. Are we leading? Are we the leader of tomorrow? Have we taken over the leadership? They called us leaders of tomorrow. Tomorrow has come. But our grandparents are still leading. There are still leaders, and those who are even struggling to take over from them are still grandparents and parents. So when are youth going to take over leadership? When are youth going to take over leadership? The leaders of yesterday have refused to give way to the leader of today or to the leader of tomorrow, the youth. But we are not going to concentrate on that part because that is a different topic on its own. But we are going to look at what are the things that are stopping the youth after their parents pay their school fee, after completing their school, and after reaching a certain age. What are the things? And what is the tomorrow that we keep on talking about, taking over? The, big, the question is, where are the youth? Or when is the tomorrow? Where are the youth in leadership position? Where are the youth in leadership position in our society, in our country, in our families? When is the tomorrow coming? And say tomorrow will keep on. We will keep on having tomorrow. Tomorrow, but when you reach a certain age, you have arrived here tomorrow. When you reach age A and age of leadership, you have arrived, you are tomorrow. And that is today. The life you are living today, if you are of age, that you have arrived here tomorrow. And you have to take up, you have to take over the leadership position that you deserve, that rightly belongs to you. Where is the tomorrow supposed to come? When is the tomorrow supposed to come? Are you still expecting for the tomorrow? I say no. The tomorrow is already here for those who have arrived a certain age. So if you have arrived a certain age of 25 upward and you are still hoping of the tomorrow, no, look at today. That is your tomorrow that have arrived. Plan International History, and I quote, you are leaders of today. Youth are leader of today, not leader of tomorrow. If you are already a youth, you are a leader of today and not a leader of tomorrow. The tomorrow has come. You are a leader of yourself. So the positions we are talking of when singing that song, parents pay our school fees. Because we are the leader of tomorrow. The tomorrow, the positions we are talking about to lead is not just the government positions, the positions in the government. It's not just the positions in our community or in our society. It's the position of first, yourself. Are you a leader of yourself? 
Are you a leader of your own family? Are you leading in your own self? That is the question we have to be answering today. Are you leading? Are you living your life as a leader in your family? Are you taking them in the right direction as a leader in your institutions or in your business? Are you moving up with it as a leader? That is a today. That is the leadership. And that is the tomorrow that we usually talk about. The youth are the leader of tomorrow. How are you leading? How are you leading yourself? How are you leading your family? How are you leading your institutions? How are you leading your business? The leader of yesterday, as we say, they remain today and they don't want to go. The one you are hoping for, the one you are hoping to be there, they are there and they refuse to go. What are you going to do? Are you going to remain idle? Are you going to frustrate and use your life waiting for them to go? No. You have to do something today for yourself. Would you, will, will our society be better if the youth take over leadership? The one we are expecting in the government, in our society? Will our society be better if we, the youth, take over leadership? Those are the questions we have to be answering ourselves in order to make ourselves prepare. And then we have to answer this question and show example of this question through our own self and through our family. From there you can determine if you can lead the greater people. How prepared are the youth to take over leadership tomorrow? How prepared are we to take over leadership tomorrow? When you look around you, does it seem as if youth are prepared to take over leadership? When you take, if you take time, look around you as a young man or as a parent, look around you if, it, if there is any things that show that youth are ready to take over leadership tomorrow. We have to prove to our parents, we have to prove to the society, we have to prove to the government that we are ready and prepared to take over leadership. Because if we do not do this, they live their life in fear. They live their life in fear. And that is why many of them remain in power. That is why many of our parents die without writing any will of who will succeed them. Because they are afraid. They are not sure of who we are. They are not sure of our leadership. So we have to prepare and show unto them. Things are happening within the youth which are mostly wrong and evil. And many of those things have become part of their lives and culture. Look at our youth today. There are many wrong things that are happening within them. There are many evil things that are happening within them. And then many of them have taken it as part of their culture and part of their life. They are no longer ashamed of anything. They do any filthy things that they can do. And then they say they are the leaders and hoping to take over leadership tomorrow. Many people are discouraged about the activities and behavior of most of our youth today. Many people, even some of the youth that are trying to show an example, that are ashamed to say we the youth are prepared. Because nobody is behind it. We the youth, we are the majority in many society, but we tend to sell out our voting rights in order to support our grandparents in power. We the youth, are we prepared to take over leadership? Life stealing, stubbornness, prostitution, stealing, corruption, Wayfulness, drug addiction and cultivation, a scamming, a cheating are not new things or shameful things or behavior to the youth. All these things cannot prepare you to become a leader tomorrow. But when we look at our youth today, what do we see? We see this kind of characteristics. 
We see lies telling. We see gossiping. We see jealousy. We see prostitution. We see stealing. And many turn to call it modern civilization. Are we prepared to take over leadership tomorrow? With this attitude, can we stand and say we are the leader of tomorrow? Will our parents, those grandparents that remain in power, will they be willing, giving up the battle onto our hands, into our hands? Africans, ways of dressing, dancing, and respect for elderly ones were wonderful. Many people grew up to admire it. Due to poor mentality, all the beautiful African ways are disappearing gradually in the hands of the youth. The culture of our parents hand over unto us. What is it today? The beautiful style of dressing, the beautiful sweet way of dancing, the beautiful culture of respecting an elderly ones. Where are they today? In the hands of the youth. This generation, where is it? And we say we are going to take over leadership. How prepared are we to take over leadership tomorrow? It is becoming as a culture, a finding youth, moving half naked or total naked in nightclub. And we say we are the youth and the leader of tomorrow. It is becoming as a culture, seeing people moving half naked on the way, along the street of our city, of our villages. And we call it, we call ourselves leader of tomorrow. A tight fitting dresses, a transparent dresses that mark out all the contours of their, their bodies and expose their nakedness to be seen without any difficulty are their preferable a fashion and culture. Those are our preferable a, a, a fashion and culture. And we say we want to take over leadership. How prepared are we to take over leadership? Is that a culture we are going to, to lead our people with? We stand today to blame many people. Any little things we turn and accuse, and accuse people around us. It is because of this. It is because of that. What are you? What, are, what is your own behavior? How are you building your own family? How are you leading as a young man in your own family? We have changed many things. We have changed everything. And there is no hope for us taking over leadership. And you want to take over leadership. Why are you behaving like this? What is the main reason behind all this kind of behavior? We say you will look at our previous lesson on mental transformation. We will have many lessons that will tell you why youths are behaving this way today. But I will list some of them here. A poorly formed conscience is one of them. Why are children today, why are the youth today having a very poor formed conscience? A very poor conscience. Why? That is one of the reasons. Look, follow our previous lesson and you understand. Poor parental care is one of them. The search for an easy life is one of them. Ignorance, peer pressure, poor mentality, imitation. Those are the things that have pushed our youth to give up. The leadership of tomorrow. They have sold their birthright as leader of tomorrow. Through all this, the absence of a life of prayer and the fear of God is another cause of all this bad behavior in our children. 
So with this attitude, are you going, you don't have a conscience, are you going to take over leadership position? Youth are doing terrible things. Killing is not a new thing to them, a strain or a shameful act to them. No, they are doing it happily. Happily. Imitation. They want to be like A, they want to be like B, they want to be like this. Are part of them with no shame. They don't longer listen to their parents, but to their friends. Poor mentality. The fear of God is absent. And we want to take over leadership. Then where, which will be, what will be our foundation? The foundation of our leadership. If God is not. Let us change our mentality positively for a better society. If we do not change our mentality positively for a better society, we cannot take over leadership. If you cannot lead your family to the right direction, yourself, if you cannot be your, the leader of yourself, you cannot lead anybody. Do not useless yourself or useless your life today, hoping for a miraculous leadership position tomorrow. Do not useless your life today. And everything turn around, you say you are suffering because the leaders, those people in power refuse to give you chance. No, make a good use of yourself today. Be a leader of yourself. Be a leader of your family, in your family. Be a leader in your institution. Be a leader in the society. Make a change, a positive change. Do things. Leader does not mean necessarily mean you have to have people behind you leading to you. A good behavior. It's the characteristic of a leader. Have a good behavior. You should rather ask yourself, instead of hoping for a, 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 a position for, a, a, in future, you should rather ask yourself, in what way you can lead today? Ask yourself, what way, in which way can you be a leader today? And you will see, you can be a leader somewhere. You can be a leader, as I already say, a leader of yourself, of your family. You can be a leader of a good example. You can be a leader of a good behavior, leading people with positive mentality. You can be, and you have many people behind you. The first Timothy chapter 4 verse 12 says, Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young. Young, but it set an example for the believers in, in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. That is the word of God coming unto you. You should not let anybody look down on you. Meaning, wherever you are today, whatsoever you are doing, say to yourself that I'm going to change my mentality today and be a leader. I'm going to be a leader today. And you have, this is at the various way you have to lead. In your speech, it should be without any compromise. In your conduct, you, have, you should have the perfect behavior in the society. You struggle by all possible means to have the perfect behavior. You should say you are going to lead in love. You are going to be the leader of love. Showing love to your community. Showing love to your family. Showing love to the people around you. To your neighbor. You can say you are going to do this in faith through Christ Jesus and you are going to fight it through purity moving through holiness in Jesus Christ and you will see yourself leading whatsoever push you push you into what you are today struggle whatsoever push you to what you are today struggle positively to go out of it so as to become a better leader tomorrow. Run away from the root as an arm robber. Run away from bar or nightclub as a prostitute. Run away from that internet as a scammer. Run away from the street with your immoral dresses. Run away from the rebel group 
that you belong to and to win so as to win the leadership position of yourself so as to win the leadership position of your family so as to win the leadership position of your society and of your nation run away from those things so as to be a better person tomorrow reject corruption in your family reject corruption in your society reject corruption in your schools and reject corruption in your business by showing good example that is what they call leadership when you stand with the right attitude you are leading change your mentality positively and go back to, to your parents if you are no longer with them if you run away from home change your mentality positively go back to them be sincere in all that you do obedience should be part of you respect love a faith in all you do and look up to god and you will take over your leadership position thank you very much for listening to this thank you very much for taking the decisions today to become a leader of yourself to become a leader of your family to become a leader of your society follow mental transformation youtube channel subscribe to our youtube channel and follow our previous lesson because they are all going chronologically in order to change the mentality our mentality for a better society